I know this is a bit of a, a different layout from what I normally do because typically when I record my videos I typically record in the office but I felt like since it's a beautiful day out here in Hawaii, my house is clean, the lights beaming in, why not just utilize that and do a video? So this is hence what I'm doing. And you may be noticing I'm holding something in my hand. This is a new product from PVP Performance Design Products. This is the literal wireless controller. It's pretty neat. Uh, I'm really excited to dig into it and open it up. It's This is definitely going to bring me back to my days of growing up playing the Super Nintendo back in the day with that controller. It's kind of crazy when I look at the size of this controller and the size of my hands. You know, it's like, oh, if my hand's going to cramp or something like that. Like, so, anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to dive into this. And uh, yeah, shout out to PDB for sending me a review product for this. I'm super excited. But before we get into all that, I want to go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Mikhail Casanova, Hawaii content creator, host of Hawaii's number one podcast and number one podcast in the Pacific, the Casanova Podcast. I stream every week on Twitch, so twitch.tv slash Mikhail Casanova. Hope to see you there. And uh, yeah, all my plugs are out the way. Let's go ahead and find out if this is something you need for your Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so full disclosure, Performance Design Products, PDP, did send this to me, so I just to let you guys know, they're not paying me or telling me how to review it. They just sent me a product, say, hey, you wanna check it out, blah, blah, blah. You know, I said, yeah, why not? Or why wouldn't I? So I'm gonna be diving into this, gonna be doing an unboxing setup usage and just see how I think of it, because, I mean, honestly, this is a pretty dope controller. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's get into it. I got my Nintendo Switch here with my Hori dock, and I've got the little wireless controller here. So this is what it looks like, so you guys have a good idea of it. Okay, so side. You're going to get glared just because the sun is beaming right now, but it kind of is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, going to go ahead and dive right on into it. Let's see. Always make sure you cut away from yourself. That way, you know, you don't end up cutting yourself. So I think that should be it. That's only two, two flaps. Alright, so let's get this open. Got that flap right there. And then let's go ahead and pull it out. So we got a couple things here. Let's move the box back. Uh, you've got your pretty much your manual. So go through that. Showing you how to you know all your information set up and all that, right? And then we got your type C cable, because it charges via type C. So USB A to type C and we've got the controller itself. This is what it looks like. It's got the PDP logo here. It's got the bar. Here's the D-pad. Analog sticks. Minus and plus. Home. Screenshot. L1. Well, L, ZL, R, ZL. Well, ZR. Uh, pairing button. Your indicator. Type C. This is the information on the back. You know, standard stuff. And that's just about it. So, what we're going to do. Let's see how it feels in the hand. So it's already got some juice in it, right? So it's got some juice. Uh, I've got fairly large hands, in case you can't tell. So, um, yeah, this feels like uh, pretty much just like a Super Nintendo controller. So what we're gonna do over here, we're going to uh, bring that into focus and angle so you don't get the glare. But I'm gonna go over and we're gonna pair the controller so we're gonna do uh, find controllers, which actually no, no, I believe I need to go to this one. I need to hold down like this. Near the change grip order, you're gonna hold down this button here, and it's gonna do its cycle animation, and then it'll register on your Nintendo Switch. So there you go. So we're all registered and paired. Then we can go here, we can actually go back and uh, let's find a game. So 
So I've got a uh, Super Mario set up already. We can go ahead and go ahead and dive in and see how this is, right? All right, so we got that going. And then let me angle this so that you guys can see it. And then you can also see, you know, me using the controller. So there you go. Yeah, so everything's working good here. Super responsive. So let's go ahead and try this with another game. So I fired up some uh, Blessing Curse of the Moon 2. So I wanted to test out the D-pad because retro gaming is probably going to be what a lot of people are curious about using this with, especially if the D-pad is any good. So as you can see, it's a pretty standard, pretty solid. This is actually better than the D-pad on the uh, Pro Controller, in my opinion. All right, so everything's super responsive. So, no issues whatsoever here. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to fire up some Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. So let's go ahead and dig into it. Let's go offline. And we're going to play what's pretty much one of my favorite Street Fighters, which is Street Fighter Awful 2. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get in there. Play my character. I'm uh, primarily a Ken main. Let's make sure my buttons are all set up. All right, so we're good. So my buttons are set up, and uh, we're gonna see how this functions in a fighting game. Don't mind me if my gameplay is trash. Yeah, so I'm pulling off moves with with ease, especially with Ken. Yeah, this is a, a much better D-pad than the uh, one on the the Switch uh, Pro Controller. Cause I'm, you know, it, everything is being effortless, effortlessly done, so I'm really, uh, really big in this controller. Yeah, so this is dope. I dig it. This is good. So last thing I'm going to try this with is a shooter because I think you guys definitely want to see how this functions with a shooter. All right, so we got Borderlands 2 Ultimate Edition booted up. So you're going to be able to see how this functions with that. Yeah, so this is solid. So like, toggling on to toggle uh, iron sights, super smooth, the right stick moves, buttery. I think that's kind of like how I want to describe like the experience of using this. It's just buttery smooth. Like, literally, no issues with this. Other than my gameplay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is a solid controller. Like, 
Yeah. <laughs> this is a certified go. Quick questions you actually might have and you might be curious about. Uh, does this have motion control? Yes, it has motion control built into it. And so if there's any game that utilizes motion controls, you're, you're solid and set. Does it have an NFC reader for Amiibos and whatnot? No, it does not have an uh, NFC reader built into it. So unfortunately, that is one of the, the trade-offs of this device. Uh, so if that's not really, like me personally, I don't use Amiibos. I, <laughs> I can't think of the last time I actually used the, the NFC reader in any of my Nintendo products, uh, not even my 3DS. Uh, so I personally it's not an issue for me. It may be for you. I'm not too sure So uh, that's just something I wanted to make sure uh, I put out there and then also uh, if you're going to charge this just plug in the USB type-c controller It should charge fully it shouldn't take more than you know, maybe a couple minutes to like half an hour for a full charge and uh, it's, it's very quick charging so yeah, this is definitely a very good device. Uh, I was, I'll be honest, I was a little concerned with the size of it because I was thinking that this is going to be something that I'm going to have to like, you know, struggle with trying to utilize it because, you know, size of my hands, I was thinking I was going to have hand cramps, but it's very, very compact, very functional. You know, my hands aren't cramped or feeling uncomfortable using it, which is definitely a plus. Uh, the buttons are very tactile, very responsive, uh, from the triggers on the back to the analog sticks are very, very, <laughs> they're super responsive. Uh, I was surprised because one of the things I was thinking was that uh, I mean, most third-party controllers, when you use them for like, uh, say, retro, like if you're using the D-pad, a lot of times the D-pads aren't that good, and even Nintendo's official Switch Pro controller is not that great either. Uh, but this, <laughs> and I always test uh, D-pads against fighting games and against retro 2D scrollers. So this is a certified go. Uh, I was able to pull off moves effortlessly in Street Fighter. Uh, I was able to play uh, uh, Curse of the Moon 2 super easily with this. I was able to get some Borderlands in. And uh, even with retro games like Super Mario 64 from Super Mario 3D All-Stars works perfectly well with this. The buttons are all perfectly spaced apart from each other and really I just, I, I can't, like if you're looking for a good controller, like either be it a primary controller or if you're looking for a controller that you can utilize, you know, on the go or both, which is for me, I've got my Switch Lite, I do a lot of traveling, well I was until this quarantine, uh, I got my Switch Lite, I've got this and this is super pocketable. I can just go in game easily. Plus this has a ridiculously long battery life too, which is definitely a plus. So with that being said, these are my thoughts. I think this is a certified go. If you want to pick one up, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link so you can go and get it. And um, yeah, other than that, you know, shout out and thank you to PDP Performance Design Products for sending me a review unit over. This is a major, major certified go. Go out and buy this. This is amazing. I don't really say that about third party controllers often, if at all. But this, you need this. <laughs> Even more so than I would say getting a pro controller. If you're, okay, here's a better comparison. This is a better comparison of this controller to another third party controller. You know those 8-bit uh, dough controllers? Those are good. This is better. This is a lot better. Get this. And it's the same price. Get this. I'm telling you. Get this. Super simple. Out the box. Connected. And you're ready to go. So that being said, what are your thoughts? Do you have the this controller? Do you have the little wireless controller from PDP? Are you looking at picking it up? Are you sold on your 8-bit though or whatever controller? Do you have like the Pro controller and prefer it? Whatever your thoughts are, let's get the conversation going down in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to join an amazing community, uh, we have a Discord, so links down below. We have a lot of people from the video game industry, a lot of content creators, gamers, and more. And also, if uh, you're looking for a new podcast to check out, we got the Casanova Podcast. Like I said, it's the number one podcast in Hawaii and number one in Pacific. 
brand new interviews and conversations every single week. So go make sure you check that out. And I'm on Twitch. I got my cat over here. So I'm on twitch.tv slash Cast and over every single week streaming. So catch me over there. And uh, yeah, with that being said, that's the video. That's the wrap up. Uh, yeah, that's it. This is where we end the video. And let me know if you guys like me doing videos here with this kind of backdrop in my living room and kitchen area because uh, I don't record out here often enough. But uh, yeah, that's it. i catch you guys on the next one. Deuces wild, too sweet, be the elite. i catch you on the next one. Peace. You made it to the end of the video, man. I'm, look, I'm so happy that you made it to the end of the video. That means that you enjoy what I put on this channel. You enjoy what you just watched. And since you did, go ahead and hit that like button. The other thing you can do, go ahead and sub if you enjoyed it. If you really enjoy the content right here, you're probably gonna like the next thing. So go watch the playlist, go watch some of the other recent uploads. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. And if you really want to support what we're doing here, and you know, it's, it's, it's completely optional, but go ahead and become a channel member. We got that too. You ain't got to, but if you do, I appreciate you. But other than that, thank you for coming through. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for checking out what we do here. I'll see you on the next one.